With nursing, you'll have a wide variety of opportunities, whether it be working in the military, hospital, or home setting. But there must be people willing to train these nurses. And that all comes down to the nurse educators. A nurse educator is a nurse who teaches and prepares both students pursuing the field of nursing and registered nurses for entry into practice positions. They can also teach in various patient settings to provide continuing education to licensed nursing staff. Nurse educators can choose to teach in a specialized field of their choice considering they have the experience and knowledge for effective teaching. Nurse educator is actually one of the fields of nursing wherein a nurse can teach a various patient care setting to provide continuing education to licensed nursing staff. Nurse educators also can teach a graduate programs at the master's and doctoral level which prepare advanced practice nurse, nurse educators, nurse researchers, and even leaders. In my own opinion, and actually uh, yeah, if you're going to define it theoretically, being a nurse educator is only one branch of uh, a nursing work or in the nursing field, you know, right? Being a nurse educator means you are imparting knowledge, okay, specifically on nursing students, being an instructor or teacher. Uh, obviously, since that I am in the academic side of nursing, the nursing profession, being a nurse educator, you must be able to have some credentials in oh, with regards to teaching and academic. Having your master's degree done and then as much as possible, you uh, having your PhD being Achieve. Being a nurse educator, I consider it a very challenging uh, part on the nursing profession, no? Because once you are a nursing, uh, once you are a nurse educator, you are actually integrating the totality of an individual, both in clinical and in the. Uh, uh, you try to develop the clinical um, expertise of a student and as well as the theoretical uh, side of the student. So, as a nurse ed uh, educator, you are actually molding both the, both the intellectual part of the student, which is the knowledge. You are also as well molding the skills, which is their skills in the, in the clinical area. And as well as the most important one is you are molding the attitude of the students, which is, I think, the best among the three assessment areas, the, the skills, the knowledge, the attitude will always be on top of everything. No? So that is my opinion. If I may say that this is my destiny to work in the, in, in the academy or in a school or as a clinical instructor, well, I believe that destiny lies on your choices. So, to say my story, why I chose in this field, because there was a time that I was given a chance to work in the school or as a clinical instructor way back 90 or 94, when at that moment I was working in the hospital and, the, and our consultant, since it's also our, mm, which is the dean of the college, and then she asked me or approached me to work in the in the school or to deal with the students so at first I had my second thought and then um, I was I was thinking that I'm not confident and how can I teach we're in I'm, I'm not that uh, I'm not by nature I'm not a teacher I can only deal with patients but then this mm, doctor or consultant told me that why not try it if you try first before you you say that you cannot do it so, but the first requirement is actually you have to study again or um, you have to have your master's degree. So, and then I tried, I submit all the requirements needed and then um, I had my um, return demo until I was passed or until I was accepted on that, on the institution or in this school. But what's important that I've learned is um, you have to have 
probably also touch the lives of our students. Um, and then choosing this field, maybe this is also one way of upgrading my professional level. So I also thinking of, or it was also on my um, thought that um, I would not just stop there, that nursing is a lifelong learning process that you will not just be as a novice and as an advanced beginner maybe you can reach the level of proficient until you reach the level of expert so um probably uh, i can say that um not really on the expert level but i can teach on the different fields of nursing with my students based from my experience at the same time wherein I can um, say be proud of and not forgetting my humble beginnings. I find it very fulfilling right? teaching in classroom than in the hospital setting but of course I'm not saying that the hospital setting will you know, instruct or teach anything or somebody but it's that uh, just for me I feel it and I feel it comfort. I'm much more comfortable in having my discussions and imparting knowledge inside the classroom. With regards to the benefits, uh, aside from the monetary compensation, uh, the most uh, important is that you can impart knowledge. You can share what you know, even uh, knowledge, skills, even the attitudes, you can share it, your experiences. So, there's um, students can learn from you, from your experiences, actual experiences, both theoretically and then on the actual practice itself. Okay. Being also in, in the academia, uh, this is also a, a very big challenge inside the classroom. Why? Uh, of course, in the clinical area, you would always be assessing the, the, uh, the skills, the attitude, and the knowledge of the student but inside the classroom as a teachers also as a as a as a teacher in, uh, in the academy you will be now be more on developing oneself into uh, the methodology of teaching which is the classroom structures the uh, how you are dealing with the students how are you trying to present your um, lesson every day and this is always a part of continuous education in terms of knowing the new trends and how of course you handle the different um, uh, different uh, personalities of a student. Benefits, of course, it's the prestige because I do consider that nursing is a very noble profession. Okay, prestige in the sense that being in this area in this kind of profession. Uh, the individual concern is more also in a continuous process of learning. Why? As we all said that learning is a continuous process, we always do have to sharpen our minds, our skills, and of course having a very good interpersonal relationship to every, uh, every uh, areas that we are encountering. It's a known fact nowadays that the nursing is not really picking up right due to um, overflowing of our graduates but still everyone should be inspired or should always be um, having the goal that someday somehow you will be unregistered nurse and for those out there that still um, uh, hoping that nursing and and we do believe that nursing will soon be again at the top of every medical profession. Why? Among the medical profession, I consider nursing as the most um, um, valued profession. Why? Because we are um, handling lives, patient lives. Huh? So the, the totality of the wellness of the of the of uh, of a patient will always depend on our best nursing care, and no other profession could really um, mapapantayan yung, no? Mapapantayan.
we are always being looked at anywhere in this world because we are the one giving care to every patient. And it's a really uh, a big um, challenge to every nurse they are in. They will, they will have their uh, patient bedridden or kayami san. Talagang, uh, they are really very ill. But then, after a few, few uh, days of confinement, because of a very good nursing care and at the same time collaborated with the medical care, the patient will be up and about. Okay? That's the best inspiration I could share to every student but still inspiring to be in this profession. And good luck to everyone. to go through with it. Make sure to visit us. Okay, I will.
Man, you can. Okay, that's good. Wait, oh, let's go there. <laughs> <laughs>